Good morning. I have a very hard question to answer. Here it is. You are given an airflow oxygen ratio of 1 to 7. What is the FiO2 that that will produce? This is a very difficult question because we never go in that direction. We almost always go from we have a known FiO2, what liter flow do we want to put it on? So this is just working backwards. We have to use a formula. The formula is in Egan's book, chapter 30, in chapter 38 of Egan's book, box 38-1, there is the formula. This formula is here, FiO2 equals air flow times 21 plus oxygen flow times 100 divided by the total flow. Now you can see it's very simply done. Summarize that formula is a good idea in preparation for the board test. I would go over that formula a couple days before the test in the hospital. You're going to have it handy written down, but this has to be memorized for the board test and these numbers, of course. And you. Um, so what do we have? Let's take a look at this. What is our airflow? This is an airflow oxygen ratio, which means the first number is air and the second number is oxygen. This ratio can be set to any number you want, but let's just set the ratio to one. That would mean one liter of air to seven liters of oxygen. Now we have our flows. Let's put the airflow in. One liter times 21 plus the oxygen flow, which is seven liters times 100 divided by the total flow. The total flow is seven plus one, eight. Eight is the flow factor. And since we set this to one unit, we can say, in this case, 8 is the actual total flow. We do some simple math. 21 plus 700 divided by 8. Let's go over here. 721 divided by 8. We can all do that in our head. 90.12. And we would just round that for 90% FiO2. Now you can go the other way and put 90 into your magic box and you will come up with the same flow ratio. Here's another trick with this. This flow ratio is air to oxygen. We usually control for oxygen, so we set the oxygen to one, not the air flow. This is a trick that they have done.